Welcome, my name is Rainer Lazo Antunes. I'm the founder and owner of the Droidbrella Technologies Inc. Um, the purpose of this video is to show you what the Droidbrella concept is about. Droidbrella concept. So, what is this all about? We recently were able to submit our utility patent application for what we believe is going to be the next big smart device of the century. We are basically bringing the concept of uh, an automated hands-free umbrella. And that's what we're claiming, basically. So, now let me show you what is this all about. You should think on Droidbrella as a, as a, and a smart device. It is basically an umbrella that we were able to define a set of uh, functionalities on it. It has its own CPU unit and brain of the whole system. It is divided, as you can see, in many different regions, each of the region having a specific components as these uh, weighted arms. The whole infrastructure, if we go inside, you see that we basically have uh, a set of uh, video cameras. And right now we are standing in the in the middle of, uh, of our umbrella, which is able based on a specific computer vision application. Our automated hand-free umbrella is able to know and to track the user's intention of movement. So basically, our system um, should be able to stabilize the buoyancy physics based on a specific input from external sensors, humidity sensors, wind, etc. So the user basically uses its umbrella but setting it up at the desired altitude and the umbrella, the system is able to stabilize the umbrella on top of a user's head having learned the user's personal look for that, that day. In the top of uh, our uh, automated hand free umbrella, we have a combination of a propeller and a jet engine, which allows us to propel our invention. There is also a set of uh, sort of wings, which also help to stabilize our invention. What you're seeing in, on the outside of the external layer, if we go in, so here we are in the internal layer, which is all filled 
fill it out with um, helium gas. So we are basically controlling the buoyancy physics to control by our CPU and instead of a uh, computer vision cameras, a specific proximity sensors on the inside that allow us to keep our promise of uh, allowing the user to use our invention. So that's basically now let us show you the concept in, in practice. We were able to define our vir virtual version of, uh, of the invention that we just described. And this is what you can see. So it's basically, that's the internal structure. As you can see, the system is reacting to the user input. And what's the user input in this case? Well, the set of regions that you were, were seeing on our mo model. So our regions work the same way. This is region number one, number two, number three, four, five, and six. Let's stop the movement for just a second. And what we have over here, we were able to set up this uh, configuration. It's a, basically an ad hoc um, network that we set up uh, using the set of uh, Wi-Fi cameras that we were able to find on the market with today's technology. So. This camera represents region number one, this one region number two on the virtual apparatus, region number three, region number four, five, and six. So the idea is, as you can see, our systems should be able to react a certain user input which is what it's doing right now so that's region number one this is our motto nobody wanted to give up their head just to try our system, so we bought this on human face, human head, so we needed the volume because inside of, a, of our invention, the user should be able to be there, right? So right now the system should be recognizing where this is at. And the whole idea is, is a whole uh, bro broader, broader concept. So let's allow it to move. Right now, it's receiving a lot of input because, so it's not able to move. It's recognizing the face all over the place. But on, uh, on our,
final version of invasion of Corp we, we are willing to have on our application running the, the right way. So let's say that you have region number one. Is the only one? It should be actually recognizing. You're not able to see the movement because uh, we are on the on the sea space. As you can see, it's detecting region number one and it's going in that direction. Now it's moving in that direction. I, I had to stop the Basically, the idea. We hope that you have enjoyed our video and our concept and be ready to use anywhere you like our invention. So we are currently in the development of a prototype for which we need uh, some financing and that's why we are trying to get the work out. So get ready for the next smartphone on the context of an umbrella. An umbrella is going to help you to do daily life activities, to be on the park while running on a rainy day. Maybe the mom running behind her child's stroller and on a rainy day she just have to pull the umbrella, allow it to identify you, learn the mom's user's personal look and just follow her, hovering on top of her without her having to hold a, a stick in her hand and maybe at the same time she might order um, something to pick up in her way back home or maybe you can help a, a handicapped person by opening his umbrella putting back the, the stick and allowing the person to go freely so you won't, you won't uh, have the need at any time to handle your umbrella because uh, uh, your umbrella is going to be smart enough to carry on on top of you, hovering on top of you, just following your intention of movement and of course the whole set of uh, a cloud and interconnected services that we are all used to so you might be able to have your video chat conference while using uh, these apparatus and while having nothing to hold on, on, on your hand you won't have to be video conferencing with uh, your iPhone or other uh, 
phone, a chatting application, but you're gonna bring all this wonderful application into the context of a mobile platform. So you might be able to do your calls uh, using our invention, and we hope you all like it. Uh, we're currently still a very early stage startup, but we're willing to become a, a great organization with the help of uh, you. Have a wonderful day.